you have done the automation of a basic login page registration page and many basic basic things right still you are not able to do or get the automation job right are you a manual tester no it or even as a automation tester guys today i will be telling you five important automation projects that you have to do in 2025 or 26 with ai right how exactly you can do that i will be sharing you a secret secret sauce which basically a document containing all the projects related to selenium and api that you can do not only that i will be also sharing with you which automation framework custom hybrid with rest assured as well as with selenium that you can use in the next 5 minutes that everyone has to do these important five projects which are advanced not the basic ones okay everyone do the basic one and trust me it is not working right now what do we need to do exactly let's go let's discuss this okay first of all Please remember the first project that everyone must do. I am pretty much sure that everyone knows about it. Basically related to e-commerce, but all of you do a basic e-commerce. I know all of you do open card. You have a open card where you do login, registration, and everything. It does not work. What you need is something called as advanced thing. Uh, let me tell you what exactly I mean to say. See, whenever you do a e-commerce website, for example, e-commerce is something. Trust me that everyone, most of the time, throughout my 14 years experience, right, I have also gone through like two or three projects in companies where I was. E- I have to test the e-commerce website. But here is the catch. What you need to showcase is the apart from user registration. or the authentication login knockout which is basic thing that generally you showcase you need to showcase like how projects filtering and everything also you have done it how shopping cart behavior that add item and everything that you have done it how payment processing and gateway integration was done it this is the most important thing that you need to remember also like for example i am talking about like this for example ebay website right try to automate the sign up sign in in this case and whatever the filtration for example 2022 how many macbooks are there you have to filter it out which one is cheaper and everything right all these are advanced things that you need to do with the framework so i'm going to give you the framework you can find the framework here which is atb 10x which is which we have done it in automation tester blueprint batch here you will see we have basically created a custom hybrid framework where we have all the projects directly you can just start writing the test cases here in the page factory section just create your own project folder and do it right so most important thing that everyone has to do is the e-commerce website but please remember the most important thing which is you have to mention what are the te- different technology that you are using here if you see mine also generally whenever we write any kind of automation framework we write whatever the technical stack is there so make sure that technical stack that you add to your github repository also you have to upload your api automation selenium automation both of them but add the tech stack also which is very very important for this so it, it will make sure that you mention about the cross browser testing mobile responsiveness api uh api testing and backend verification if you have done database or performance also these are the advanced feature and everything that you also have to mention now these are the scenarios also you need to add in your github profile also performance probably you can add jmeter scripts cross browser testing you can add the testng file that how exactly you have done the chrome and firefox for mobile responsive testing you can check on different browsers and everything you can add an integration of lambda test browser stack and everything for api testing and backend you can tell them that we have done api uh, for example rest assured integration into this framework and database validation you can add jdbc driver so these are the advanced feature and everything also you need to discuss which are very very important okay second one which i would highly encourage everyone i remember every time for example around 14 years experience i have seen i have taught many 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 students maximum people generally comes and says sir we are working with some kind of banking domain project and we need some framework which can handle this so again of course the framework that we have created specially if you see selenium hybrid framework you can see it on 11x also this is the same one what exactly it has is it it is generic framework it means it can handle the it does not matter what kind of application you bring it handles right but the key area that everyone has to highlight when if they have worked with banking application is you need to highlight the transactions are happened or not how you have done fund transferring bill payments account statements you need to talk about like how sensitive data was handled in environment variables probably you have used some kind of vault mechanism probably you have used some git secrets and everything right how ssl certificates gdpr compliance are basically handled how a uh, cookie related things are basically you have handled into your framework in your project so make sure you talk about these things also which make sure that so interviewer who is basically taking your interview right now know that okay yes this guy is a advanced he knows about things okay now the third one i pretty much sure everyone knows mobile application i think throughout my 14 years experience i have done like multiple times mobile application you need to do but important thing you need to mention is that you have done native application if you have done op- automation with apm especially or if you have done some api automation also that also you need to mention cyber site in your framework also for example 
Here you can highlight that okay I have done APIs or the backend services I have automated by using the rest assured and you will find uh, APM related code also into my repository where you can tell them yes we have done it by using Python, APM with the, uh, Java, whatever whichever comfortable you can mention that right okay now the most important thing which I want to highlight is pick a project which has showcase your microservice validations and contract testing which is very very important because not only people what exactly people do is in case of API testing they for example automate like rest assured, rest Booker, which is a CRUD operation. Of course, this is a basic one and it's a good one. But what you need advance is you need to, for example, you need schema validation, which is very, very important that you should add into your framework. You need to add the performance and somewhat related to security test cases also that, for example, I have done some of the JMeter scripts that you can add, some of the security thing also you can highlight whenever you're talking about the project and everything, right? That is very, very important in this case that you need to do, okay? Of course, you can mention about contract testing, like how you have done contract testing. For example, probably you have done some microservices contract testing by using PAC or if you have mocked the servers or not by using Postman. Postman also allow you Wiremock also allowed you. Uh, schema validation, JSON token validation, database, direct validation by using JDBC if you have done it, advanced things. Mention, start mentioning advanced things into your interview, into your projects. That is the most important thing you need to do. Uh, last one, I would highly encourage everyone if you are targeting for an automation job right now, so include a test automation framework with self-healing capability. It's very easy to implement. You can use certain tools like Helium, uh, Selenium that you will find or you can create your custom wrappers around this also. For example, we have implemented by using Helium Helium, but Helium has some limitation afterwards, but we started, we have started created by using cloud code. We have created our own self-healed mechanism also. So my request will be if you can, if you have a test automation that we generally come by the way, guys, if you know, we have already, we are already starting the job ready automation tester batch, which is the latest one, which is with the AI edition here in this one, I have specially included a test automation with self-healing feature, which we have implemented, right? Which is almost running like 7,000, 8,000 test cases per day with self healing concept. So these are important things because self-healing is something which is future, I'm pretty much sure because it adapts the UI changes, it adapts the locator, it basically keeps the snapshot and check with the previous one. It has a visual regression things also that you can basically check or intelligent test management also. Of course, it has limitations also, but self-healing with test automation is something that you can also add into your repository of advanced project that whenever you mention in the project. So these are the couple of projects which I personally highlight that for five automation testing project that you should do it immediately else gone I mean you need to add it a full list if you want I will share the list with you just type AI in the chat or website or resource in the chat I will share this resource with you along with the frameworks that you need so just type resources or AI in the chat I will share all the links which are there which will helpful for you by the way this list is keep on updating so you can always take help from this thanks for watching I hope this video helps this is what I wanted to tell you about advanced start mentioning advanced automation projects into your repository to get into the automation all right thanks for watching stay awesome I'll see you in the next video bye bye like and subscribe Subscribe and I will share the link in the pinned description. You will see that. Okay.